are schnazzy. I'm stealing the diamond. I'm going to create a special reserve area of this chest for stuff that we should not use because we will use it later for science. I kind of want to go out and take out some spiders and get some string and then make some beds out of it. Hmm. Well, I wonder... Here, I'm going to try to make us some armor. And I'm going to make you the armor because you seem more competent. Thank you. All right. Oh, they're breaking in. I'd best make this armor real quick. They're or not breaking you can in. Just deal with it. They just are. Here. This might wrinkle your suspenders. If you don't want it, I can wear it. Oh, what level are you? Level five. Oh, okay. I'm level eleven. So that's bronze armor. <laughs> eleven? Yes. Oh yeah, because I died a bunch. I forgot. Oh wait, did I get? Did I get experience for killing you? Um, you probably absorbed my experience, yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. You got XP for count. Don't, don't hurt me. <laughs> Sheesh. Um, no, that, that, would be a, that would be a very munchkin move. <laughs> yes, it would. Might I have the diamond pick? Because while you're snazzing it up with your... I love how you have bronze armor like a Roman legionnaire, but then you have long fall boots from Portal. Yeah. Nice combo. Uh, what, what's Reynolds. the key to switch view again? To switch what? View. Oh, um, F5. <laughs> I look hilarious. <laughs> you do look funny. I love how sparkly your armor is. How much does this hurt you? Uh, do it again. It gives me half a heart. Oh, well I guess that's like the minimum for getting hit. I'm gonna go down and get us some obsidian. And also, I'm just going to mine, because we need more stuff already. We used that up so quick. Well, most of it we didn't use up. It's just useless currently. We really need to get some rubber. But rubber True. will be useless until we get more tin to replace all the stuff I used to make that chest plate of yours. Yeah. Oh, man. So, in Feed the Beast, which includes industrial craft, and a bunch of other stuff. There are lots of different ways of generating power. What power generation mode do you think would be the coolest? I don't know, but I accidentally just poked a hole in our roof. We have a roof? Ceiling. Well, the top of our ceiling. Hmm. But yeah, what type of electricity generation would be coolest, do you think? Ooh, I found a cave. Uh, what are the options? Um, well, there's normal coal burning, which is the lowest tier. Okay. Um, and it's kind of polluting. But you can do other stuff like geothermal, which is lava. You can do water turbines. You can do wind. You can do solar. We aren't going to be able to do nuclear for a long time. We also won't be able to do steam power for a long time. But solar sounds cool. Solar is cool. It's also very expensive. And first, we will need to build other kinds yes, of... Yes, but it's a good investment. Indeed. First, we'll need to build other kinds of power generation in order to make the machines required to make the solar panels. So yeah, it's yep. a little involved. Oh, that's realistic. Okay. Oh wait, and I forgot. Um, in order to make solar panels, you need to grind coal into coal dust. Um, and to do that, you need a machine called a macerator. What the macerator does is any raw ore that you put into it, mm -hmm. It macerates it into two dust, and then each of those piles of dust mass, um, smelts into one of the ore. So you effectively double what you mine if you just put it all into the macerator. So it's super powerful, but in Feed the Beast, the recipe for it is really, really expensive. In fact, I'm going to look it up right now and say what the recipe is. It is... It needs three diamonds. Three diamonds to make that. Cool. Holy bejesus. That is a lot of diamonds. But we can substitute a mortar and pestle for it if we just grind the stuff one at a time. So that's probably what we will do. Um, but we need coal dust in order to make like the carbon surface of the 
solar panels. Okay, we have two obsidian up there, so I need um, four more. Actually, six more. Mine, mine, mine. Mining obsidian is the most interesting thing in the world. Just thought I'd let you know that. I don't always mine, but when I mine, I mine obsidian. And it's boring. <laughs> oh, I forgot, I can just fall any distance. Uh -huh. Yep, because you're a superhero. That would have been so useful in Serenity when he was fighting the operative in the giant turbine room. Yeah, that really would have been useful, actually. I remember that. You know, from the movie. Yep. Um, remember, so you know, I'm stuff building us a skylight. A skylight? Yeah. That'll be good. Okay. Does it have glass in it? No. Huh. You'll need glass. Yeah, but first I'm building a gigantic tower. Um, what? So that I can find my way back. And don't worry, I can jump off of it. <laughs> That's true. You can build, like, super high altitude things without worry. Um, there's nothing else down here. That's enough obsidian for now. I think our next step should be to get rubber. Which I will need your help for. We will need to work together as a team to find the rubber. I think I'm a rocket man right now. Rocket man? Because I'm high as a kite. Oh, dude, know what I just realized? You, you should come out here and look up at me. Because you don't take any fall damage, where is this alleged skylight? I don't see it anywhere. Um, okay. Uh, I'm outside. Yeah, just go outside and you'll see a, a giant needle. What? That is a derp tower. Herp a derp. Oh yeah, I can see the... Oh wait, now, now it's snowing. Come but... on, why did you build this derp tower? Uh, I was seeing how high I could go. You can build like 256 blocks up, and ow! It's snowing. A spider just attacked me. I can't see a... Village? I, I'm not sure where sand is. Um, dude, we live village. next to a beach. Oh, wait, duh. Okay. There's sand, like, right there. I should have built this out of sand, actually. Yeah. Because then you can dig it out from the bottom. <laughs> that looks... It's so high up. Ah, uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Uh, don't worry, that's fair use. That was <laughs> Is educational. It? Is this video educational? I guess so. No, but that part was. Oh, okay. I was educating people that... So when it looks like this, right? That's when you know it's starting to look like Christmas because there's snow. Even though we live in California and never get snow. I get snow. You get snow? Well, yeah, that's because you live in foreign, i.e. a different state. That's weird. This half of the tree, I got an apple. It's not raining. And this, it is raining. Not raining, it's raining. Science! Are you almost down? No. Um, I was having a conversation recently where I said someone was from Georgia, and then to clarify, I said, like, the state. But I meant, like, sovereign state, like, country. It, it, it was done of me. Well, ow, I just fell and that reminded me that I don't have awesome boots. Why did I give you all the cool stuff? Boots, boots, I feel boots, poor. Boots, 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 boots. Dura, boots, 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 dura, well, boots, boots, before it had started boots, raining, I would have said you know, boots, that we should have, boots. like, gone out and found a rubber tree. But now it's raining and it's miserable. No, so it's snowing. We should just ignore that part for now. Lightning. Ooh, can we get hit by lightning? Uh, yes, but we should come inside, Cooper. Uh, just a minute, I'm getting sand. Oh yeah, I forgot. Why did you put dirt on top of the chest that you have? Oh, that's how I went up. Books. I was digging up. I see. Well, I think it is high time that we get some magic going. And magic is absurdly dangerous. When I do it, that is. Um, so yeah. Do we have any wood? Any wood at all? We have a wooden plank. Uh, we... I'm out here, I can get some wood. I'll get some wood. I don't have an axe. I have an axe. I can get the wood while you do something. You are such an axe. Oh, this snow is dropping my frame rate. Haha, <laughs> particles. 
Particles. Do you have particles enabled? Yeah. Oh, okay. Particle effects, particle effects. Okay, by the way, I'm going to mark our door. With a sign? No. Or a torch? Torches. Torches. As the French say. Yeah. Hey, Cooper, would you like to see the most mind-blowing item in all of Minecraft? Dynamite? Uh, no. <laughs> Here, first we need some sticks. I have six Here, sticks. Wait. All right, take this wood, take these sticks. And take them to the crafting table. You remember how to build stairs, right? You just built stairs, yeah. and I'm stupid. Um, build some wooden stairs, but don't actually craft them. Just put them in the crafting table. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the most mind-blowing thing that you will ever see in Minecraft. Now, at the bottom rightmost square that is available after putting in all the wood for the stairs, put a single stick. Whoa, lecterns. Yes. What the heck? Put that lectern anywhere. Actually, put it on top of the furnace. That would look cool. Okay. You should put the lectern. Yeah. But this is going to be the most mind-blowing thing ever. That's dirt. Uh. Check that out. It's diagonal! Oh, and you can sit something on it? Yeah, I'm about to show you this, Wait. okay? This is gonna be crazy, but first I need to look up a recipe, so quick, do something interesting so that the viewers don't need to watch me looking up this recipe. Okay. Come at me, um, opposers. Let's see. What was it called? Oh crap, I'm actually getting shot at. Ah, that's what it's called. Okay. Do we have any ink sacks from squids? Nope. I need to get some for ink. Because that lectern needs some inked books. It's funny, you said go do something interesting and I actually went and killed a spider and a skeleton. While lightning was striking. Oh, and there's a zombie up there. I'll go after him too. I love the dramatic oh, lightning strike right after I said, It's diagonal! Yeah. It was epic. Okay. Where the heck are all the squids when you need them? They only show up when you don't want them to be there. It's as if they're telepathic squids. Oh man, shoot. Okay, I need to run now. Why? Um, I, oh crap, there's a, you know what? I'm gonna try to kill this with a pickaxe. Kill what? A creeper. Creeper? Yeah. Ooh, where are you by the way? Over by the chickens where I got lost before. Oh, cool. I know exactly where that is. Me too. I watched the video. <laughs> oh, that was so silly to see how close we were to home when we were lost. Oh, spider! I got ambushed! It's probably I feel like Bilbo Baggins. Was... The greatest little hobbit of them all? Uh-huh. Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. Whoa, the snow is just like floating. Oh, now it's moving. Never mind. Oh, dude, that tree got struck by lightning. Oh, cool. You can tell by this, the flames. Oh, wait, I was going toward that tree because I thought that was the torch that I lit. Haha. <laughs> oh, okay. and the sun's going down. We should get inside. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. I can't actually show you much magic right now, but I can show you some, and it's going to be very dangerous. Cool. But you're all armored up, so... That should be good. Yeah, and also I'll just... Oh, not again. Oh man, it's a it's a towny guy. I know, it's really sad. Okay. There's no cure? There is a cure, we just don't have it yet. Oh crap, I should have just like cordoned him off. It's super expensive. Okay, so... I'm going to craft a feather together with a book, and that makes a thing called a descriptive book. Hmm. A little light reading. And then I'm also going to stand right here and face this direction. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take a book, just a normal book, and put it in my crafting table, and that makes a linking book. You, wait, you mean put it on the lectern? No, I put it in my crafting table in my brain, and that converted the normal book into the linking book. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should come over here, because this is going to be magical. This yellow book that I have is the, um, the descriptive book, and I'm going to put it on the lectern. There you go. 
Now, whatever you do, don't click on the black square. Why not? Because then you will be transported to another age. I want to do that. We are going to do that in a few seconds after... Oh, I gave you all the wood. I need two sticks and a wooden plank. Okay. Wait, you're making a shovel? No, I need to make a book stand. Because books... How these books work, here, I'll show them off in just a second. They're pretty cool. Thank you. Okay, and I'm gonna like build a sword and stuff. So this linking book takes us back to here. You don't have a sword? No. Oh, I, I didn't narrate that. Um, it broke with the last strike against the spider that I was fighting. How could you not narrate something so definitely cinematic? Uh, because then I noticed that there was a creeper and I killed it with a pickaxe. That's even more cinematic! <laughs> I, I, I told you, like, you, okay. you said go do something interesting, and then I randomly stumbled upon all this Th stuff. That's acceptable. So, dude, check this out. This is what happens when you drop a linking book on the ground. Mm -hmm. It turns into a book. Now, don't damage it in any way. Overworld? Yeah, that links to basically right where you're standing, but cool. it only works when you're in another world. So hold down shift and pick that up by right-clicking it. Okay. Now, actually, you should give that back to me. I forgot. Why? So, that's how you make a book stand. Cool. Cool. Um, cool. Would you like to travel to another dimension? Yes. Here, let me just drop off some stuff. Yeah, that's smart. Oh, another spider eye. Okay, now the thing about this is we don't have a writing desk, so... I have absolutely no way of telling what this age is going to be like. It could be anything at all. Awesome. Any dimension. Whatsoever. We don't know. It's a total mystery. Building up suspense. Building up suspense. Do you have food? I have eight carrots. I have two steaks. All right. Oh, silver. Tons of silver. Yeah. I'm put that in your chest because you smelted it. Okay. All right, are we ready to go? Yep. I want you to go first, because I'm, okay. I'm nervous. So, click on the black thing? Yep. Warp. You're still here on my screen. It might take a little while. Yeah, I'm just in blackness with a bunch of particle effects. That's the loading time. Oh, interesting. Okay, now I'm following you. Holy sh- Oh wait, now I can- s I forgot, I can totally see what this age is like. Okay. Holy crap. Never mind. I'm warping after you. Yeah, you, you just Okay. Uh, there are a bunch of... We are in... So this is a cave world. Oh, whoa. Stuff fell. Uh, come back oh, over here. Oh, wait, crap. There's not only zombies, but there's an enderman over there. An enderman? Ooh, we yeah. should try to kill that, because we need yeah, an ender sure. pearl. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, you, you handle that one, I'll go this way. Okay. The thing is, you have the armor, so you're the best capable of... Dude. Ow. <laughs> I keep walking in front of you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. But wait, 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 we... I just thought you were about to Come die. back to this stone platform where we spawned. Uh-huh. Now, super important thing about traveling in Mistcraft. Uh-huh. Now that we are here, if we die, we will respawn here. Okay. We cannot get back to the overworld in any way whatsoever. We are totally stranded. But luckily we're not because I brought the linking book. So I just okay. put it on this little stand so anytime we can use and this to go back now home. Now should we just like super fortify this place? Uh, first yeah. we should kill those three creepers. I'll take the left, you take the right. What? Oh crap. Or you could just do that. That makes more sense. Oh, cool. Excellent. Yeah, um, I keep forgetting that I don't have armor, but we definitely don't want to get lost, and we don't want the linking book to be destroyed, otherwise this series is over. Oh, see all the red stuff? Uh-huh. That's bad. What is it? I just said, it's bad. Okay. The, whenever you see that red or blue stuff growing in a world, that means that the world is corrupted. It is unstable. Oh crap. And it will perish shortly. Well, not shortly, but it just doesn't have that long. This okay. world is not long for this world. See what I did there? Uh, yeah. No. Um, so this place is actually super boring. Wait, but hold on. At least we have some symbols. You're building a little fort? 
Um, oh wait, I can't see that. I don't have anything man. to help you with. I, I don't. I don't see the Enderman now. Darn. Yeah, he's probably gone. That's okay. But yeah, this is the first stage that we have visited, and how it works is once we get um, a writing desk, I can put the age book into the writing desk and learn the symbols, and then I can write new ages that include some of those symbols. But what we need to do is just visit tons and tons of random worlds to accumulate all these different symbols. Now the red stuff, what happens if I mine that? Uh, nothing actually. You can mine it just fine. It just de gets destroyed. Oh. It kind of sounds like sand, but the thing is, you can never mine it fast enough for it all to go away. It permeates the world and it is eating this world alive. And eventually this entire world cool. will be gone. Because it's unstable. But in the future, once we have tons of symbols in our writing desk that we can use to write our own ages, um, we can create more stable worlds that will not decay, that we can use to our advantage. Which will be cool. Wait, what's down here? So, down there. Oh man, so many Endermen. Down there. Now the thing is, those deal five hearts of damage with each blow. Ooh, we just found a cool ore. This is, um, Appetite. This purple stuff. I'm gonna mine it. Does it make you hungry? Uh, no, it's using fertilizer, so quite the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, there are lots of mushrooms of both kinds over here. Oh, cool. Those are good. I'm getting nervous around um, my taller peers. I don't like that other endermen are taller than me. I'm high challenged. Uh, I think we should go back to the real world and also probably call it a session here. Do you agree? I see a creep. Uh, hold on, I'm fighting an enderman. Where? On a little tower I built. Wait, where did he go? Oh, crap. Crap, he got me on the ground. Back away. Tense silence. Did you yeah, fight him off? Uh, I'm gonna die. Are you sure? Where are you, though? I'm now just running. Run back to the linking book, because this world is getting eaten. Okay. The red stuff is spreading. I've been watching it spread. You do not have anything on your tail, so you're good. I don't think it'll teleport after you. Okay, because it was teleporting after Yeah, me. let's go back home. Darn. Warp. <sighs> and here we are, back home. So that was an adventure. Ooh, and we have gold smelted. So that's delicious. I guess that does it for these handful of episodes. I think this is like three episodes that we've played now. Huh. Amazing. Uh, oh yeah, it's a... about about an hour of play. Cool. So yeah, now we have a lectern on top of a furnace, and that works. You have cool stuff. We're all oh good. cool. They're like symbols. Yeah, these are the symbols that you use to tell what the age is gonna be like. Cool. So yeah, this has been Malcolm Reynolds. Shiny. And I've been a classy Enderman and. That's it for Whee! now. Show off. <laughs>